Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are grubbing down on some good old Jolly Bee because it's been a minute and your girl is craving it. So we got, of course, good old Jolly Bee spaghetti, uh, spicy chicken. I never tried their chicken tenders, so I got it to try out. Mashed potatoes and then the burger steak. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the fam bam lovey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification. <laughs> Enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get down to the nitty gritty because, honey, my life. But sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder what did I do? Because <laughs> in the background is my little sister. Um, if you hear someone in the background. Whoa. So we're gonna try the chicken tender chick chicken tenders before we get into the into my little my little drama because I never tasted them before. Oh first let me taste them on itself. prefer their chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They gave me this. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's also a chicken. But I'm disappointed because they didn't have my pie, my peach mango pie. Oh. Oh. This is the sausage you can tell I never got. <laughs> it's creamy sriracha. It makes the tender cheese better. If you hear like construction in the background, that's because they're facing the outside. So don't mind it. The chicken tender is alright. Want to hear? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Thank you. Hi. Be like that. What else? That's a uh, spicy chicken. What? Spicy chicken is not spicy today. It's not spicy? Not at all. Did they not give spicy? No, it, like. What's that spicy? I know, and it, it has the orange, but the person who spiced it didn't put spice. It's very, very on the mild side. Not bad, bad. Good space for me. Mm -hmm. So how are my lovies doing? It's been a um, little minute. Um, last week was just crazy, crazy busy for me. It was mama's birthday. So we went away for a couple of days. Um, and then I had a baby shower and then I had, I needed like a chill day. This is back to back to back to back. But we are finally zen out. Mm. I don't know why I never got their mashed potatoes before. Pretty good. Maybe I did. I didn't go. Oh no. Mm. Um. So yeah. She has been a little, a little crazy this week. I um. You know. You guys are like. Family to me. 
and it's hard <laughs> sometimes it's honestly hard to like get on here after like some shit has gone down and like put on a big smile for you guys because you know like you know i'm just i just can't fake it i'm not that i'm not that type of person i can't fake a smile um i can't fake how i'm feeling you know but i feel like you you guys do need it's only fair for you guys to know what's going on um and i try to do it so that i'm not messy because it's not what i'm here for i'm not here for any mess or whatever but you know you guys always ask about my dating life and rightfully so i be hella nosy too and wanting to know things so i mean it's only right for you guys to ask about my stuff but long story short <laughs> this is how cold like really cool i mean it tastes good but it's cool mm -mm. Why is it cool like that? Like it was in the fridge? Like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should warm it up. No, I'm not gonna. I'll save that for later. But, what were they up to? Yeah, so I just need to take a minute, you know, take, um, day or two to get my composure ready because honey the audacity of people like audacity okay I had, you know, as I said, since I said I was back on the dating scene, I've had somebody, um, this guy chase after me for a number of years, okay? I'm talking 10 plus. We're not going to give an exact number because we're not going to, we're not going to say a name. We're not going to say specifics just because. Like I said, I don't want to be messy, but it's my life. Like, you know, like this is this is real shit that goes down. And you guys, you know, have have a right to know because it's at this point it's joke, okay? It's a fucking joke, okay? Like someone definitely the brujeria on my ass. So this gentleman, no, we're not even gonna say gentleman, okay? We're gonna say this bird was after me for 10 plus years okay um and finally i'm like you know what let me try giving it a shot right we've gone out on dates before you know we've gone out on dates um we've like talked consistently for like a minute we dated temporarily for a couple of months uh, a couple years ago but for some reason something just always happened that it just never led to more so fast forward
they're telling me all this stuff. Um, you know, you're the one I want to be with. You're the love of my life. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all can fill in the rest, okay? And I'm the type of person that I'm like, you know what? I don't believe people's words anymore. To me, words are cheap. I go off of action. So I'm like, you know what? If that's what you say, back it up. You know, let me see some, let me see some actions. If that's not how you're really feeling, right? So, they're like, cool, no doubt. I'm going to show you. So, blah, 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 they keep feeding me BS on... I'm in the shower the other day. And I'm like, you know what, Christina? I get out and something, it's like somebody whispered in my ear. Like, go to his Facebook. And I'm not really on Facebook like that. Like, Facebook has never really been my thing. Um, I'll like go on and like look at quotes and stuff, but to look at people's pages, I don't really do that. Like I don't pay mine. I'm more like on Instagram, like that where I'm looking at people's pages is Instagram. So I go to this person's Facebook. Um I'm looking at like their page, you know, being nosy. And you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I'm scrolling and I don't see anything. So I'm like, okay. No, like, kind of, like nothing crazy, you know, just nothing crazy. I'm like, okay, cool. So I scroll back up. Um, I see that one of his friends on the top, like it just so happened to be showing some friends, right? You know, on Facebook it shows a couple of friends. And one of them has the same last name as this person. And obviously, hello, I've known him for 10 plus years. So, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I've never heard of this person before. Because I've known him for 10 plus years, right? And I'm like, this relative has never rang a bell. Because they have the same last name. So, I'm thinking relative, right? So I go on the person's page because I'm being nosy because something told me in my ear, Christina, go to their Facebook. And I'm looking at their profile picture and he's in the profile picture, okay? With a baby and with this person. So... I'm like, okay, I'm a blonde, but I'm not stupid, okay? Um, the worst thing you could do is piss a woman off because she's gonna go on FBI mode. So I start digging, right, of what I could, like what I could see off of the page. And I'm scrolling and I go back and this person is updating it, updating their profile picture with the guy 
like constantly okay like it says like you know so and so updated their profile picture and shows the profile picture so this guy is <laughs> always in the profile pictures right and this person is tagging him in posts but it's not showing up on his thing which means he had to have been hiding the post you know where it says like like uh or like a proof that you be allowed to show up for it to show up on your page some shit like that it's like a privacy setting so obviously he had that turned on okay smart of them because me i don't i don't have facebook like request like ask me if i want if i allow this person to tag me in something i just allow it like tag me in whatever i don't care it'll show up on my page but he clearly had that setting turned on so <laughs> i keep scrolling 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 i'm like let me see if i can see when this person put their like status as oh oh and this person's status was married okay his is single but it was married the girls so then <laughs> um going about looking and i finally see like the date okay like I said, I'm not going to give any specifics because I don't care enough to. So let's just say it was uh, five plus years ago. Okay. So I'm like, this can't be real. You know, I'm like, there's no way in hell. Like I've known this man for 10 plus years okay we talked as friends we've dated within that time like there's no way in hell this could be real me and my denial right <laughs> so then i start reading the comments right of when she changed it to marry and the comments are all like yeah, congratulations blah 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 um there's a comment that confirms it's with this guy and i said oh okay so with that i'm like you know what let me ask him just to see right because i'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt i want to see what you have to say so I ask him and he says yeah I was I'm like you were huh I said well <laughs> I don't think your wife knows you're saying you were because I think she strongly believes you y'all still are <laughs> and then of course right what do men do best when they're caught red handed come up with like some BS story so I'm not going to say the sob story he gave me um one because it's like not even worth it because it, it's stupid okay and two because i don't want to air anybody's dirty laundry out okay it's not my position i'm not gonna write to his wife it's not my business it's not my business it's not like me and him i'm not like not like i had months invested in it you know we were friends for years Yes, he pursued me that whole time, but it's not like he got anything out of it, if you know what I mean, okay? He never got these draws, okay? So, for me to go and, you know, I just feel like it would be shaking up a whole thing and you know and I don't, I don't, I'm not going to confirm anybody's story, okay? Because you should have told me from the get. So, 
<laughs> he then says that he wants to show me all the proof, okay, of this of his story. And I'm like, bruh, you had five plus years to tell me this from the get. If this was true, you had five plus years. But you didn't say anything. You only are saying something because you got caught. Okay. And one thing I hate is a liar. Don't lie. Because then you're just going to piss me off. Okay. I'm very much a straight up person. So when I catch you in a lie, it's a wrap. And then when I told him that I didn't care for an explanation or none of that, like he had five plus years to explain, he never said shit, so fuck you. He had the audacity to get mad. Like, what kind of fuckery is going on up there okay this is why i mean like someone definitely had to have like done brujeria on me and like my love life because how the hell you chase me for 10 plus years and like i don't mean like a slight chase okay i mean homie was trying homie homie was persistent okay and how you try that hard and still have time to go get married, have a whole wife, have a whole kid, have another kid. I'm confused here. I am physically and mentally confused. So you see how a sister can be a little need a little bit of time to like figure all this out so i'm like you know you kind of question yourself like should you hear this person now should you should you see the evidence you know what i mean like because when they make you feel like like you're the bad person you start questioning yourself okay but but let me tell you i'm very much into protecting my energy and I'm very much into like card reading and all that stuff and if you're not that's fine to each their own um, but I am so I was like you know what go and see like if you should even give it any any more effort you know what I mean? Um, I went. <laughs> and let's just say, I'm not gonna say any, any specifics because I like protecting that stuff. Um, but let's just say, thank God I didn't give him the chance to explain himself or show any proof because it would have been a waste of time. Because it was all a lie. Like I like I know. Ladies, trust your gut. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, trust your gut. Okay? When the, you have that inner voice saying something ain't adding up. It ain't adding up. So, needless to say, I am now at peace. I don't care to know anything else. Goodbye. Good riddance. Don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you. Um. Um. You know. It is what it is. And what I was told this is not the first time he's done this. 
もう Um, I know there's gonna be some of you like, oh, you should tell a wife, blah blah blah. This is she's aware. She's aware. Cause you know. I was told. <laughs> so there's no point in telling because obviously she's okay with it. Or maybe they have an agreement. Or something of that. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't care. I don't want no parts of it. I don't want no parts of a married man. I don't. Um, I don't care if you have an agreement with your significant other, with your spouse. I don't care if you guys have an open relationship. That's fine to each their own. But please leave me out of it. And I hate people who put others in this predicament. Let's just say the, per, the their significant other doesn't know and comes and starts a problem, like physically or, you know, you just don't know. Like, I don't want, they, it's, it's not fair, okay? It's not fair. So, Like I said, so each their own, but at least be honest about your shit and let that person choose. You know what I mean? But for you to keep it hidden like that for five plus years, bro, props to you. Because you really had me and my... <laughs> you really had me and my fucking family, like... Fooled, okay like <laughs> and that's why i just have to laugh because in, li in life if you don't laugh you'll cry and i've done enough crying for for three lifetimes okay and it is what it is you keep it moving but yeah that's where i've been at mentally taking a little me time cleansing my energy because you best believe your girl got cleanses okay got some manos and um, my energy all that stuff so just know i am highly protected okay and they even confirmed it i am highly protected that's why i heard that thing in my ear go check facebook okay call me crazy call me whatever you want but god always will protect me so enough about that we are, I am not going to let that stop me. You know what I'm saying? I am going, I'm not gonna lie. At first I was like, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm just gonna go back to my little, I'm just gonna go back to being by myself, not talking to anyone. I'm gonna change my phone number. <laughs> but you know what? No, I'm not gonna let other people win. So it's fine. I'm still going to continue doing me. I'm still going to keep dating and doing what I got to do. I'm going to have fun. And whenever it's my time, it's my time. Like, you know, he'll pop up. And I'm cool with that. I ain't trying to rush, rush anything. So, we gonna be all right. Anyways, you guys, why didn't anybody tell me about this false scare stuff? The kiss false scare stuff. Because your girl has been wasting money 
I'm not gonna say wasting because beauty is never a waste. But I have been spending $100 every two weeks on lash extensions when I could have been doing them myself. Like, bruh, I'm not saying they're like the most perfect because this is my first time doing it, but I'm gonna insert a little close up right here. But for being my first time, they're pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. And they just cost me. The false carrot kit was like 20 bucks on Amazon. And then I bought, I didn't like the lash, um, the lashes that it came with. So I bought a separate pack on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And so 30 bucks. And your girl looks like she got lash extensions. Okay. Because I'm not going to lie, I took them off and then I was looking a little like bald in my eyes. And I was like, what the hell? I cannot go on camera like this. But how come nobody told me about this false scare stuff? Granted, my left eye is definitely better than my right eye. But I think I did my right eye first. So it came out a little, you know, but it's all right. It's all right because practice makes perfect. Well, yeah, next time you guys know about something, let us just know. I found out because of TikTok. And I was like, what? I could save $200 monthly? Like, your girl's all about saving. These mashed potatoes were actually pretty good. Damn, look. Where'd it go? This right here needs to be heated because this shit was cold as hell. The tenders were, they were I. Would I get them again? No. I'll stick to the, the bone, in, oh, the bone in chicken. But, ladies, remember, ladies and gents, remember, always listen to your gut, okay? That's what it's there for. Listen listen to that little voice in the inside of your cabeza, okay? All right, my loveys, don't forget to give this video two big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fan fam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. Peace.